All right, so for example number two, we have one over x plus two. We have one over x plus two. So what does this plus two mean? Shifting oh, up. Two. Up two. All right, shift up two units. So um, what's our restriction? What x cannot be? Zero. X cannot be zero, right? So that means our vertical asymptote is? Zero. zero. So we can go ahead and draw our vertical asymptote first. And uh, since uh, the graph uh, shifted up for two units, uh, you can also imagine that the horizontal asymptote is going to shift up two units. Or if you want to uh, find some more proof, you would say, well, I want to know why the horizontal asymptote is now why it goes to two. Well, we can just look at this function and say, well, again, X becomes infinite, right? Infinitely big. So one over infinity is basically, one over infinity is basically zero. Zero plus two is two. So therefore, well, our horizontal asymptote is Y equals to two. So I hope you can enjoy the thinking. Okay, enjoy the thinking like, oh yeah, one over infinity, it's, uh, it's a small number, it's almost zero. Zero plus two, it's two. All right, so uh, what else? Uh, the center of rotational symmetry is something we can tell because that's where the, um, the two asymptotes would intersect, which would be zero comma two, or you can say, well, it was zero, zero, and now shifted up two units, so it'll be zero comma two. All right, so uh, without any uh, kind of, um, well, let me go ahead and find out any uh, intercepts. Will there be any y-intercept? No. Because? Because the, it's a zero. Mm -hmm. Because uh, x cannot be zero since uh, it's a restriction, or you can say there's a asymptote, okay, blocking our way. What about x? What about X intercept. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you think about, hmm, what about this? Okay. What about this? This whole Y thing goes to uh, zero, so you have to uh, solve for it. Now, it would help if you uh, understand what we said earlier. One divided by what is negative two? Negative? Negative, negative 0.5, right? So if you know uh, one divided by negative 0.5, it's negative two, that would help. If not, if not, you can just go ahead and multiply by x first. And then you divide by negative two on both sides. You get the same answer. Okay, you get the same answer, negative 0.5. So let's go ahead and uh, put a dot right here, negative 0.5, okay? And then uh, if I do the, uh, the signature dots, which is right next to the uh, center of rotational symmetry, then I can go ahead and create my graph, okay? And the domain would be from negative infinity to zero, union zero to infinity. And the range would be anything but the number two, because uh, we don't have any evidence that the graph will cross the uh, would cross the um, horizontal asymptote, so uh, it would be anything but the number two on the y value. So that's yes, from here. Well, I mean, uh, well, the the parent function is one comma one and uh, negative one negative one. So if you do transformation, you just go ahead and shift accordingly. 
you know, we have one comma one, right? And what what's the uh, what this what is what is the shift right here? We shift up two units, right? So one comma one becomes one comma three. You shift up one uh, two units. Okay. All right now.